The moth. I should have seen that. Yes, you should have, but you didn't. Therefore, I win. running to you again. Oh, I missed. <laughs> 2 plus 11 equals 13. Lighter. Yay. Revenia. Gregory. That's the last time I have a potion I do that I now. don't write down. Oh, it's kind of cool that the paintings kind of talk to you. Yeah. Subject, uh, Borogon and Burks. Borogon and Burks has an increased amount of activity outside ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night. Suspicious devilus uh, being made from the shop's back entrance. Given what we know of the shop's uh, reputation, we are adding more auras to join those who have already been watching the shop. We are amongst the new additions. Further instructions to follow. Ah. Well then. Revelia. Oh. That's quite interesting. You didn't see anything? Doing okay. Rebellion. How many gear holders do I have? Because I know what I'm like with chess. Okay, but that's just cute. 
And it's purple. I don't like wearing scarves unless it's the cape. We have three more slots, we need to keep that in mind. You know what I'm like. Okay, I think I just look adorable. really have made a mess of things. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Nice to see you again. Thank you for asking. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You might recall that I was trying to cast non-verbally when we met in the common room. Well, I mastered that. And now I've taken to creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. Oh. That sounds a rather complicated way to simply avoid carrying your books. Possibly. But where's the fun in simplicity? New charms and spells have to come from someone. Why not me? I collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Sure. I suppose I could help if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Off we go. To the loading doors. More loading doors. I'm going to have to use Accio to get to those books. Got it. Only four more to go. Revelio. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too, if I were her. It was a good day, that is, until Gareth splashed whatever ridiculous concoction he was cr creating all over my perfectly stewed lacing flies, had to carry my entire cauldron and start all over again. I had to em empty, empty, I'm an idiot. He's such a menace, thinks he knows everything uh, there is to know about potions, always disrupting Professor Sharp's class with his experiments, utterly convinced that his if he wasn't the Professor Weasley, Weasley's nephew, he would have been expelled by now. Arbroth smoke, smoke 
some more keys again for tonight for dinner. I'm becoming more partial to them now, although I still prefer meat pie. Sebastian coming on. Why do you have your broom in the library? I'd have done this one before. Professor Black might suggest a ban on magic in the library. Someone has been sneaking into the restricting section. Hmm, I wonder who that is. And Cradessa seems to think the library as one of her own personal arena to which she can practice her latest incantations. It is most disruptive. One might consider Peeves tame. Uh, by comparison to such an wow okay i i didn't read that very well but i understood it oh the doors stop thank you hello cressida i collected your books including your diary Oh, what a relief! Thank you! I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. Yeah, it's perfectly valid response. I, I completely agree. I finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. I'm just here helping everyone. Having a pleasant time at school isn't the best. The loading doors of death are gonna annoy the crap out of me. Revelio. Hmm. 
Hit her. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Maybe. Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your and spellcrafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Seb. S Seb. Seb. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Seb. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard, and he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. I've never tried butterbeer, and I'm wondering what it tastes like. People have said that when they go to the Hogwarts experience, that it's very sweet. But I would like to try it. Uh oh. Uh. Oh, it's the rat cup. Kinda cool. Ah, there you are. Sir, what are you doing? You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. 
It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. This is the one. Got it. Oh. Oof. Maybe I'm sure. Doors. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Brilliant! Revelio. Might some kind soul help me? Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Why does everyone hate you? Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul smelling liquid. Gobstones. Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Time to open In the alcohol. Is one of the worst losers. Ever written a story or a terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. I wouldn't have done that. Overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway. But I wouldn't want to play with her again. I'm just to get saying. Back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. Oh really? I wonder who that could be. Maybe I can ask Sebastian to do it. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. It is such an ugh quest, so let's just go do it. Don't get too cocky simply because you had one victory over Sallow. He never backs down from a fight. Hi, Ominous. How did you know? I mean, I'm, I'm sure you can still smell and hear people, but not the point. I'd better keep an eye out for Oh, well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Well, I'm gonna go get all of them because it is such an irritating quest. I'd much prefer it. How is everyone in stream? <laughs> Who's actually in chat? Revelio. Lumos.
We have a moth. Maths. <laughs> Rebellion. I'd better keep an eye on how places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Plus fifteen equals seventeen plus seven. Maths is failing. <laughs> yeah, that should be it. Yeah. Yeah, that's just not of any. Rebellion. 
I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. And that is a lot. <laughs> Revelia. Recognition of expanded skill in the field of Herbology, Hogwarts bestows this special award on the seventh year Hufflepool. Uh, Mirabelle. Oh, it's Mirabelle! It's Professor Garlic. Oh my god. Rebellion. You know, favorite, one of my favorite characters. I love her so much. Is that it? No. Oh. I didn't do that. No one saw that. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Down we go. Jesus, it was so bright I wanted to die then. I think, what if Merlin was like real? All that. Wouldn't that be really cool? I 
Better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. Off on another adventure, are we? Where the book went, now I'm terrified. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revenia. Oh, That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. I've been following. Oh, Hydra. Plus six equals eleven plus four is the owl. Uh so no, five, so ab. Slots I have. Oh, I have two. Want my witch hat, thank you very much. Hey.
No more chests now. Can't afford it. 